We're now in the Queen's House. The Queen's House is the oldest wood frame Tudor building in London, surviving today. At the time of the gunpowder plot, this was the Lieutenant's lodgings. Today, it is home to the Constable of the Tower of London. It was in this very building that Guy Fawkes was questioned after the failure of the gunpowder plot. Originally, there were five plotters. However, there was a lack of knowledge with regards to explosives, and Guy Fawkes, an explosives expert, was recruited to the plot itself. Fawkes was charged with watching the door and setting the fuse. However, one of the plotters, Tresham, had written to a family member, Lord Monteagle, advising him not to attend Parliament on that day. The letter fell into the King's hands and a search was ordered of Parliament. Fawkes was found with his fuse, a small lamp and a box of matches. The search was then to discover 36 barrels of gunpowder and a fuse set to run for 15 minutes. Fawkes was arrested and taken to Whitehall. The King was roused. Fawkes was presented to the King, still given his name as Mr Johnson. When the King demanded from him what he was doing, Fawkes was to say, I wish to blow the Scottish King and all of his Scottish Lords back to Scotland. The King had him immediately incarcerated here within the Tower and in his own hand wrote a warrant for Fawkes' torture. Fawkes was to eventually admit to the names of his co-conspirators and again Fawkes, committed, tried and sentenced to death for treason, was to meet his fate at Palace Yard Whitehall on the 31st of January 1606. The Lieutenant of the Tower at the time was Sir William Wadd and he was part of the group that were to question Fawkes and many other of the gunpowder plotters after its failure on the 5th of November 1605. Sir William Wadd had this monument erected in this the council chamber having built up the floor on which we now stand. The memorial is split into several sections. Down here in the left hand corner are the names of the plotters themselves. Not only the original five, but all who were eventually convicted of their involvement within the gunpowder plot itself. And the Hebrew here essentially makes the statement, he findeth deep things in the darkness and bring them forth into light and the shadow 